Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist with Tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters here in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of the settings and adjustments we can make for our cruise control system on a Hexashift machine with CIS Plus. So you now join me back up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine looking at our cruise control functionality. So from an operator point of view on the armrest what do we see in addition to here? Well there's no direct additional of buttons but what we do have is an extra degree of functionality to some of these buttons. So we see our numbers one and two buttons that we've had a look at in a previous video for our engine memory control. These now get a dual level of functionality and depending on whether our cruise control is turned on or off, these functions will control either our engine memories or our cruise control values. So what settings can we see on our CIS Plus display in relation to our cruise control? Well, firstly, from our home display, what we're going to notice is we have a two additional boxes on the left-hand side of our current gear, showing us at the minute our two different engine memories. Once we pop in to turn our cruise control feature on, it will deactivate the ability to use our engine memories and then turn on the ability to use our cruise control. This is due to the fact that with how the cruise control feature works on a semi power shift machine, we cannot have a fixed RPM and a fixed forward speed with automatic gear shifting at the same time. So how do we turn on the feature? Well, if we pop into our menus and firstly go into our transmission menu, annotated by the cog on the left hand side, and in here we'll see a little speedometer symbol alongside an engine symbol, so over to the left hand side. So by popping in there, we're going to want to then come down until we see the cruise control symbol annotated by a speedometer and an arrow on the outside, and we can see at the minute that it is turned off. Once I turn it on, we'll see that our two engine memory symbols will disappear and that our cruise control will appear. So we can now see cruise control 1 at 10k and cruise control 2 at 20k. Now you might then ask how do I set these cruise controls? So this is all done the exact same way in how we saw about setting our engine memories. So by driving to the speed that we want to set as a cruise control and by pressing and holding the button for greater than three seconds we would then hear an audible chime and we could then fine tune this cruise control value by tapping on our plus and minus keys to the right hand side. So thank you for watching everyone I hope it helped feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine and if you have any further questions don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.